Hello! Um, I'm Christina, and I'm going to be reviewing today uh, Moulin Rouge, which I actually just saw a couple uh, weeks ago, which was really exciting because I've never seen it before. And it was good. It was a very, very good movie. I'm a big fan of musicals, love musicals, so uh, it was right up my alley. So the story of Moulin Rouge is that an English writer comes to Paris and falls for this terminally ill singer of the Moulin Rouge. And the Moulin Rouge is like a cabaret type thing. Um, I think it's set in like the 1800s, late 1800s, I want to say. Um, so this girl's name is Satine, and she mistakenly mistakes him for, the, for a duke, the duke, and invites him up to have sex with her. But he, Christian, only wants to read her a poem because he's a writer. He just wants to like show his work off and stuff. Um, so the Duke actually walks in on them and they claim they're rehearsing a musical called Spectacular Spectacular, which they're not. Um, but they have to make up the story like right off the top of their heads and it's like the most ridiculous story you've ever seen in your entire life. And um, he actually buys it and puts money into this Spectacular Spectacular show, which is like totally fake. And, um, they have to do it because he, he's invested money into it. They're rebuilding the Moulin Rouge and everything. And, uh, they're under contract that they're going to get all their rights taken away and all this. So, the only reason he agreed to this is because Satine will come, become his wife or whatever at the, after, after the show. And because, um... Christian and her are like the stars and so they like fall in love and stuff like that. But they actually do fall in love in real life. So she's supposed to be keeping herself for Satine, yet she's going to um, Christian. She's hanging out with Christian and they fall in love and, you know, stuff happens. And <laughs> she actually ends up dying in the middle of opening night, which is really sad. And that's like the end of the movie, really, which is kind of like a weird ending, but... So this review, I'm going to talk about music, um, because I really enjoy music, and it was one of our chapter, I think chapter 9, so, or, yeah, chapter 9. So since there, this movie was a musical, I'm sure there was a lot of music, there was a lot of music in it, and, but I was really surprised about how much new music it was, like, there was a lot from the 19th century, and none from the 18th century, and that doesn't, that really confuses me, because if you're trying to make something... If you're trying to make a movie in the 18th century, why would you pull music that hasn't even existed yet? I, I don't really, I don't get that. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of that kind of music. However, there were certain, there were good songs, like modern songs that had no relation to the movie whatsoever. But, I mean, they were still good. So, like, the opening when Christian goes into the Moulin Rouge for the first time, kind of techno beat. I'm like, I mean, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. But it has nothing to do with cabarets, which I'm pretty sure are modern whorehouses and stripper clubs. So, I'm not sure how that works. Um, so, another thing about the movie was the cinematography, because it was really well thought out, and... Every time the Moulin Rouge was shown, the colors were red and gold and orange and yellow. And every time outside the Moulin Rouge was shown, it was blue and purple, indicating that the Moulin Rouge actually was the place to be. No one wants to be out in the purple, sad depressingness of not, not the Moulin Rouge. So, um, another thing was the acting. In fact, um, it was actually really cool. Really good acting. Um, Evan McGregor who plays Christian, uh, wasn't a very good singer, and you could tell he was lip syncing, and I, I don't like that, but that's just me. <laughs> but his acting was really good. I mean, he was able to cry on cue with, like, all that emotion in front of a bazillion people and a bunch of cameras and stuff, like, that's impressive, like, props to him for doing that, because that's awesome. And Nicole Kim is just awesome, too. Um, she, I mean, she just throws 300% into everything that she does, and it's just, like, it's extremely believable. So, I mean, it was a great movie. I enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, my uh, little vlog thing I got going here. So, um, I guess have a good day.